politics has really taken off on TikTok. We can't afford to have anyone, certainly on our side of the aisle, taking anything for granted. This honesty that you might not have in a face-to-face -face interaction. Really what I think my secret is speak to something in a way that someone who does not exist in the political world would be able to easily intake that information and then let them know how that affects their life. Why did you decide to start creating content on TikTok? My daughter was on TikTok. I started it by following her. I found that the posts that I did specifically about Florida got a lot of traction. So I kind of gave a voice to the rest of Floridians who are uh, liberal or progressive. My simple mission is that I just want Democratic and or left-leaning voters to take action in some way, shape or form. Uh, there's a lot of women who are there. There are people there for all kinds of different reasons, but politics has really taken off on TikTok. What's something you wish you would have known earlier? The trolls online, and they will try to bait you and say, oh, you don't want my, you just want to be in an echo chamber. You don't want other voices. And I was like, no, I don't want other negative voices. No, I don't. You're right. <laughs> this is my safe space and you're not welcome here. Who's your target audience? Well, apparently it is white women who are 35 to 42 years old. <laughs> That's what my analytics say. My favorite viewers are the people on the right that come to me and we totally and completely disagree but it's in a respectful manner that allows me to learn from the other individuals i found myself in political TikTok, and you, you know you get into a groove and you meet a bunch of really cool people um and so it kind of took off from there what inspires you to record a TikTok? waking up in the morning and seeing what the missouri gop has done to my state some shit that the Republicans are doing, I don't, I mean. <laughs> Why is it important for you to be on TikTok? <laughs> uh, my son asks me that all the time. <laughs> Every day, there's never a shortage of news in Florida, of something that is shocking and surprising and that needs to be stopped. I think our democracy is really feeling quite fragile these days. It's important that I use it to share a positive, impactful message. To introduce people to things they didn't know existed, like the, the unicorn, the rural progressive, right? We're here, there are people like me out here. I had to find my own, and now I'm helping other people find their voice as well.